one of the most widely used materials in construction, but also one of the largest, said to be responsible for around 7% of annual global emissions. Cracking is a major problem in construction, usually caused by exposure to water and chemicals. Researchers at Bath University are looking to develop a self-healing concrete, using a mix containing bacteria within microcapsules, which will aid building innovation by germinating when water enters a crack in the concrete to produce limestone, plugging the crack before water and oxygen has a chance to corrode the steel reinforcement. Building integrated photovoltaics BIPV, are photovoltaic materials that are used to replace conventional building materials in parts of the building envelopes such as the roof, skylights, or facades. They are increasingly being incorporated into the construction of new buildings as a principal or ancillary source of electrical power, although existing buildings may be retrofitted with similar technology. The advantage of integrated photovoltaics over more common non-integrated systems is that the initial cost can be offset by reducing the amount spent on building materials and labor that would normally be used to construct the part of the building that the BIPO modules replace. These advantages make BIPO one of the fastest growing segments of the photovoltaic industry. The term Building Applied Photovoltaics BAPV is sometimes used to refer to photovoltaics that are a retrofit, integrated into the building after construction is complete. Most building integrated installations are actually BAPO. Some manufacturers and builders differentiate new construction BAPO from BAPO. The electrokinetic road ramp is a method of generating electricity by harnessing the kinetic energy of automobiles that drive over the ramp. In June 2009, one of the devices was installed in the car park at a Sainsbury's supermarket in Gloucester, United Kingdom, where it provides enough electricity to run all of the store's cash registers. The ramp was invented by Peter Hughes, an electrical and mechanical engineer who is employed by Highway Energy Systems Limited. The company says that under normal traffic conditions, the apparatus will produce 30 kilowatts of electricity. Other proposed applications for the road ramps include powering street and traffic lights, heating roads in the winter to prevent ice from forming, and ventilating tunnels to reduce pollution. The idea was dismissed as stock of kinetic energy plates is a total waste of energy in The Guardian by David Mackay, the professor of natural philosophy in the Department of Physics at the University of Cambridge. Mackay wrote, the savings from parking at the green car park thus amount to one four thousandth of the energy used by the trip to the supermarket. London Street will be able to harvest kinetic energy. A street just off London's West End has been transformed into the world's first smart street. Mechanical concrete. A few years ago, American civil engineer Samuel Bonasso came up with a fundamentally new road construction technology. In 2016, the American Society of Civil Engineers recognized it as the most environmentally friendly construction method, and here's why. The problem of tire recycling in the modern world is very serious. Annually, every major city produces about 90,000 tons of worn out tires. Besides, each of them decomposes in the ground for more than a hundred years. Mankind is constantly searching for solutions to give worn tires a second life and prevent environmental pollution. Mechanical concrete is one of them.
GeoGrid is widely used in road construction. Usually it's a two-dimensional or three-dimensional honeycomb structure filled with a loose material such as crushed stone. GeoGrid increases the bearing capacity of loose and heterogeneous soils, securing road bases. The technology of mechanical concrete implies the use of worn-out car tires instead of geogrids. They're placed on the prepared soil, tightly against each other. Then they are fastened together. Builders fill each tire cavity with crushed stone and then lay asphalt on top. It's noteworthy that approximately 15 tires are used for one cubic meter of mechanical concrete. The resulting design is inexpensive. This technology uses 50% less building materials compared to traditional methods. The cost of maintenance is also reduced, as the coating has increased strength and durability. The road can withstand loads of up to 150 tons per square meter.